Welcome back to Daytime, everyone. Angela Dacey has graciously joined us once again <laughs> on Daytime. Welcome back to You're the so show, sweet. my friend. Oh, thank you for having me back. I'm just a peach. Uh, <laughs> Angela, one of the things we started talking about earlier was the color green. And yeah. it, it's such a powerful color and so important that we had to sort of do two segments on it. For people at home who think green, the first thing that comes to mind is money. But it means a little more than that as well, doesn't it? Yeah, and, and the last time I was here, we discussed about financial abundance mm -hmm. and how to use green to bring that in, which is so true. Mm -hmm. um, and I think we discussed a little bit about green and how it's that balance of giving and receiving. Today, I want to go a little bit deeper and talk about how it can really help you see the beauty in any situation, good or bad, because people forget that there's a positive when there's a negative. Um, mm -hmm. And they're so used to focusing on the negative, they yeah. forget, you know what, how can I look at this in a brighter way? And it's difficult to do sometimes when life throws you a curveball. And we all get curveballs. Oh, yes. Even people <laughs> like you who train in... in <laughs> <laughs> which is interesting, which is uh, sort of something we're going to talk about today. Yeah. I mean, take us back to your personal story, which sort of started a month ago with your son. Well, definitely, and this is what got me thinking this would be a great segment, yeah. because um, my 10-year-old son started experiencing seizures um, out of the blue for no apparent reason about a month and a half mm -hmm. ago. So I woke up in the middle of the night hearing this strange clicking sound and ran into the hallway between my four-year-old daughter's room and his room and said, who, who is it? What's going on? Yeah and went into his room and saw him in a full grand mal seizure. Um, so that being said, this last month, month and a half, has been a journey of you know, emergency rooms and sick kids and pediatricians to naturopaths to everything to try to find out why he is suffering with these seizures. Mm -hmm. um, and it got me really thinking that you know, we can look at this and say, oh my gosh, he's only 10, poor us, what's going on, he's a healthy boy. Uh, and at the same time, I thought to myself, wow, if I sat back and actually took a look, because I have to practice what I preach, yes, if sure. I take a look at what really the beauty is, there's been some phenomenal things. I mean, we, we got the best pediatrician in New York region that's well-respected and loved. We got our MRIs and our EEGs bumped right up. So instead of, you know, 9 to 12 months, it happened in a week. Um, you know, all these things started happening. The, the outpouring of calls from clients to, let alone family and friends, and all the prayers that were going out were just incredible, the, mm -hmm. the responses I got. So I just started to take a look at it saying, wow, if we took a look at how blessed we are and, and the yeah. support we have instead of how cursed we are, we can, we can make a shift in this. And it's actually helped us, I think, as a family get through this last month much better. Yeah, I'm just curious because, I mean, you're saying you have to practice what you preach. And so often mm -hmm. people adapt sort of this positive lifestyle and then all of a sudden it hits the fan and everything goes chaotic. Totally. Yeah. How hard was it for you to sort of get back into your true beliefs and make sure you stay focused on what you were doing? That's a great question. And I'll be honest, for me, not hard. Um, I have 100% faith that there's, there's something bigger out there supporting us and that there's reasons for everything. And I also believe that we create our own story. And I was saying to my son just last night, I said, this is part of your story. I mean, your life is a book and this is one chapter in your book. And we maybe don't understand right now why that's happening and that could go for anybody mm -hmm. suffering with some form of, you know, situation. We don't always understand that chapter. You know, so if you're on chapter six, well, you might not understand why chapter six happened until you're at chapter 30. Yeah. But then right. you can look back in hindsight and say, oh, well, of course I had to go through that. If I didn't, then this, this, and yeah. this wouldn't have happened in my life. I wouldn't be here where I am today. Yeah. Exactly. So if it's easy for you to change your thought process, you know, how is it for other people who are yeah. just not used to thinking in that different way? And don't get me wrong, it does take, I mean, I am human. Yeah, right? yeah, for so sure. At first, you know, you kind of, you know, you go through the emotions and you go through all the, the fears and anxieties, but I, I think that the more you work on this, the faster you're able to change. And that's what I tell people, you know, it could take people months to, to change their thoughts. Mm -hmm. For me, sometimes could take a few days because I'm much more aware. So the more right. aware you are, the better it is. And that's why I wanted to bring this segment in, is that if you're having trouble seeing the beauty in, in a failed relationship or marriage or in um, a physical illness or mm -hmm. something going on with your kids, or take a sign, and this is where you bring green in, because green's about the heart and it's about seeing yeah. the beauty in every situation, you know, use that color to actually support you and help you go, what's the positive in this? Yeah. And it might yeah. take a while. It might be very difficult at first to understand how something so drastic could be so positive. But I look at people like the Terry Foxes of the world. Yeah. Right? Oh, wow. Yeah. I look, I look at, um, there's, a, there's actually a picture I sell called The Gift, which is an angel in the clouds when this little six-month-old passed away from SIDS. But that picture now of this angel in the clouds after he passed is sold around the world. So I, I start looking at if these people didn't go through those experiences, yeah. then we wouldn't have benefited tenfold. Absolutely. Yeah. There's, there's an essence of crises is change sort of trying to manifest in life. Yeah. Is it important for people to sort of step back and just pause for a moment when, you know, they lose their job or they have a sick yeah. child or something like that happens? 100%. You know, if, if we get wrapped up in all those negative thoughts and feelings, then they're consuming. 
and the and they're you know it's like a dis-ease in the body it's it's sickening yeah um, and what happens is I, I totally agree with you when you can step back and just say whoa what's going on here how can I take a look at this in a different way you know and start focusing on some of the positive things just like maybe the support that you mm -hmm. have then all of a sudden you can start to see a bit of that beauty and it changes your outlook and I think makes you stronger on all levels to get through it as well now your son's 10 years old yeah. has he sort of adopted that positive way of thinking because the energy is out there for your family I mean you're the yeah. mom you sort of set the stage for what yeah everyone is is feeling and, and whether you get down on yourself or be inspired to move forward definitely I mean he's 10 he's going through the, the sure. trials and tribulations of going what's going on with me yeah. um, but at the same time yeah I've brought both my kids up to have big belief in angels and guides and loved ones supporting them and I you know I always say let's just ask for Archangel Raphael he's the you know the healer in the angel world and I, I try to say you know we there's got to be a bigger purpose so what's mm -hmm. going on here and I think it does help him cope and the fact that my husband and I are very much trying to see the positives it doesn't create Create that stress you know because don't forget if sure. the parents are stressed yeah. and anxious well then the kids yeah. gonna pick up that energy so I think it's I'm hoping I mean here I am saying it's all going well every day is a little bit different but I think for the most part it's um it's a nice way to look at life and try to cope with it mm -hmm. instead of getting into the heaviness that can happen with it how then do you pull green into your life mm -hmm. to sort of create that positive energy that you need well for me right now I'm sleeping in green sheets <laughs> green pillowcases. are you really yeah <laughs> Um, and that's, that's very much great. it. You know, you bring in the color in ways you can. I've brought a lot of plants, especially being spring, um, into my home. But, yeah. but we're in a place where greenery is going to start happening. I mean, beautiful weather. Things are, you know, trees are budding. And so walks in the park, getting out to nature where, you know, it's God's universe. So, you know, it's blues and greens. So getting into a place where you can bring that green in. And definitely there's color baths and candles and all these things that I sell as well that just kind of go... Oh yeah, you know what? Let's focus in on the heart here and, and really what's going on emotionally and changing those negative emotions to the positive. Yeah. Have you ever, I mean, you counsel people on these sort of issues all the time. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen somebody that sort of has gone through what you're going through now and you think, oh, I remember that person who was sort of facing the same challenges that I am now. Totally. I, yeah. Seizures is pretty new for me, I have to admit. Yeah. I haven't really had much experience with that, but I'm learning tons. Um, but I've met phenomenal people over the years, I've counseled thousands that, you know, there's yeah. been some pretty hefty stuff. Yeah. And to watch them go from a negative space and transform into a positive, it's so phenomenal. And to watch their healing, it's it's the biggest blessing I have. Wow. It's incredible. It's, it's incredible. The, uh, it's the gift through the curse, if you will, in, in okay. many ways. I'm sure there are people at home right now who are saying, easily, easier said than done. Guaranteed. I mean, how does someone start that first shift or start that first change in the momentum? I think like you said, take that step back. Just just remove yourself for a second. Um, and then when you start doing that, you start seeing the situation, actually say to yourself, thank you for giving me this situation because. And all of a sudden what mm. happens there's got the word forgive in it. So you're forgiving the situation. You can also say it with any person that you may have trouble or conflicts with. And that's very much healing in that heart chakra area. So when you say thank you for giving me this experience or thank you for giving me this situation, then what happens is you start going, whoa, why would I say thank you for this? Yeah. And it makes you really, forces you to look at it from a different point of view. And that's a great step. Mm -hmm. And it might just be so simple or you might be writing for an hour. Yeah. But it, it's a great starting point. If it's families who are dealing with situations as a, as a whole entire unit, should they all get together and talk about their feelings and be open about why they're being thankful for it? I would like to say yes, because I believe communication holds a lot of healing, a lot of release, and a lot of power. So if you can communicate, and if you can't do it with family members, then find somebody you can, because yeah. that's definitely, the throat's connected to that heart, so we need to voice. The emotions can grow, and it's like a volcano with the plug. So we need to be able to voice. Fantastic. Thank you so much for sharing your story. You. Happy Green. Yes, Happy green. I, absolutely. Please go to the website, AngelaDacy.com, for more information on Angela, Angela and Heaven and Earth, Inc. We'll be right back with more on the show.